Hello everybody and welcome to the first video in the C++ programming tutorial. I'm Rudy the Null, I've made other tutorial series on Python, uh, lots of other modules in Python, some batch scripting in Windows and, and that sort of thing, and now I want to try and bring you guys some C++. Uh, in my text editor right now, I have Sublime Text. I'll be using that throughout the series. Um, I, I have the first few paragraphs from the Wikipedia article of what C++ is. And uh, this video, this is going to be kind of an introduction or a preface or a preamble to what it is that we'll be doing throughout the rest of the series and to dip your feet in the water of what C++ really is. So, C++ is a general purpose programming language that is freeform and compiled. It is a compiled language. This is different from Python and Batch and what we've seen before in some of my other videos. This makes it a heck of a lot faster. It's converted to the written code that we see like in, in scripts, like in Python and Batch, and it's changed into machine code, which are those binary zeros and ones. It's regarded as an intermediate level language as it comprises both high level and low level language features and kind of operations. It provides imperative and object oriented programming features. Object oriented is awesome and we're going to be getting to that hopefully in the series. C++ is one of the most popular programming languages practically ever and it's implemented on a wide variety of hardware and operating system platforms. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's an efficient programming uh, language that's very performance driven. It's used in system software, application software, device drivers, so much other stuff, and you can make lots of really cool video games with it. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll be getting into SDL if I move further and further along with this. But anyway, C++ has influenced many other programming languages like C Sharp and Java. Overall, C++ is awesome, it's the big daddy programming language, and it was initially developed by Bajarn Strustrup, honestly I'm not sure about that name, please don't crucify me, uh, 1979 at Bell Labs. C++ was originally named C with classes, and C was the first uh, initial language that we've been working with, and then we added classes that add this object-oriented functionality and things to it, um, obviously adding object-oriented features, classes, and other enhancements. Uh, it was renamed C++ as a pun involving the incrementing operator, and we will have to get to that in the series. Um, it first began as enhancements to C, and then it just added more and more things. And now we have the super cool, super powerful, and super fast programming language that is awesome. It's also a bit of a beast. It's very different syntactically from Python, uh, very different in its style and the way that it works. Uh, it now uses static typesetting rather than dynamic. Um, but it's not so much encouraging, it doesn't encourage, sorry, white space as much as Python does because anything is going, everything is going to be converted to machine code anyway and uh, that sort of thing. So, yeah, it is a compiled language and I can't stress that enough. Um, throughout this series, I'm running Linux. I'm going to be showing you guys um, this this code that we write, and I'm going to be compiling it with G++, which is a compiler from GCC, which is the GNU compiling collection uh, that's part of the typical Linux setup. So G++ with the name of our file .cpp, and then it'll automatically send this to a.out, which we will typically run with a dot slash a.out. Or, of course, we could just simply run g++ the file.cpp and use the dash o as the output argument and give it any name that we want, like cpp program, or that sort of thing. Sorry, and th that sort of thing. And then we can just run that from the from the command here. Uh, you can typically run your C++ code in Sublime Text with Control-B to build and compile it and Control-Shift-B to run it, but it does have some problems when you're actually getting into input. And since we're going to start with the pretty pretty simple com uh, console-based programming stuff with simple output and simple input, we're going to stick for the terminal for now. So that's where I am. I'm in a folder called CWork. That's where we're going to put all of the, the code for this, this tutorial series. Um, I'm going to try and save a different file for each thing that we go through, but that's the way it's going to work um, on my end. Hopefully you can do the same thing, just save a different file whenever you're working with a new video and a new concept. But there we go. I hope you guys are excited. C++, the big programming language, the hardcore, brutal programming language that we all know and love. Hopefully we can do some really cool stuff with this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope we're excited, and uh, I know I am. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. <laughs> see ya.